Welcome to the Sally Jesse Raphael Show. I'm Sally Jesse Raphael, and today I'm here to interview two scientists, one from the past and one current, who are here to talk about hot air balloon technology. Let's start with Jean Francois Rosier. Dr. Rosier, what can you tell us about your hot air balloon technology? My balloon is made of silk and paper. It's powered by hot air. I've been able to carry a duck, a rooster, and a sheep for eight minutes simultaneously. My craft floated two miles and all the passengers escaped unharmed. Sadly, two years later, my hydrogen-filled balloon exploded with me in it. I'll take you on a ride for free. In fact, I'll pay you. Wow, that was certainly interesting. I think we learned a lot about your hot air balloon, but there's certainly room for improvement. Now, we have someone who has been in the news quite a bit lately. You know him as the Mohawk guy. It's Bobak Ferdowski. Dr. Ferdowski, what can you tell us about your hot air balloon technology? Thanks, Sally. As you know, I'm primarily known for being the director of the rover mission to Mars, Curiosity. However, there have been some great advances in hot air balloon technology as it applies to discovery missions on other planets. We at NASA like to say, don't be caught without an aerobot. Hot air balloon technology has allowed us to explore other planets using a different means. These low-cost aerobots have wings filled with air. They're autonomous flying robot airships. They fly over obstructions and they're able to cover large regions. Plus, these aerobots are carried by the wind, which as you know, is a green energy. So, don't be distraught, go fly your aerobot. If visiting the planet is all you want, come and take a ride on our aerobot. <laughs>